Thank you for joining us with Cooking with the Count. Tonight, we're gonna to be making homemade granola bars. Gabriella loves them for breakfast, and they're very good for her. So, what we're gonna do is make our own. We have crushed almonds, crushed pecans, wheat germs, Rice Krispies, Cocoa Krispies. All right, so maybe we're breaking the rules a little bit, but you know, you gotta have some good items in there. We have vanilla, molasses, apple juice, honey, brown sugar. Here we have salt, melted butter, some oil, and of course, our rolled oats. We're gonna combine all of these. We're gonna cook them all up. We're gonna spread them on the pan, and we're gonna make Miss Gabriella a very nutritional breakfast bar that she's going to enjoy whenever she wants. So with that, we'll be right back so we can get started. We've got our oven at 350 degrees. We've got a two uh, sheet pans ready with the silicone mats. Now we just have to combine these three ingredients with the oats and then we're going to spread them on that pan and we'll put them in the oven for a little while and toast them up. So go ahead, Gab. Give me the salt all over. Go ahead. And the butter. Yeah, it's hot. Yep. It's a hot dish. Good. Yeah, hold on. I'm going to take that. Okay. I'm going to get all that okay. butter out of there. Yep. You want all that butter out of there. Good. And the oil. Perfect. Now let's get all these mixed up nicely. Yeah, and we'll get them on those sheets. We're going to use two sheets mm -hmm. so that they're not crowded. Mm -hmm. These are looking pretty good. That's the nice part about granola bars. You can really put almost any type of ingredients you want in there. All right, let's go ahead and bring our sheet pans forward. All right, get down for a minute. Let me just do this. And... Probably 10 to 15 minutes to get these nice and toasted. We'll shake them a few times to make sure they don't burn. Yeah, pretty good job there, kid. Thanks. I'm good at spreading. Yep, you are. With that. To the oven they go we'll be back we're going to put together the sweet mixture of it all now we have brown sugar mm -hmm. go ahead put that put that in the pot for me good oh well we gotta get it all Sorry, Dad. that's good okay and now the honey you can hand that up be careful 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 that was close. Yeah, really close, in fact. We'll get every Last bit of it. We do use local honey for allergies and all kinds of stuff. Not making any medical claims here, but supposedly, if you use honey that's local to your area, it will help you with your allergies. And God only knows, at this time of the year, I can use all the help I can get. Go ahead and put the apple juice in. Very good. Right, Got to get it all. Every drop. Uh -huh. And last but not least, yeah. the molasses. Yeah, but it's sticky too. Yes, it's very sticky. That it is. <laughs> that but it's delicious. Yeah. I'm sure now we're gonna good. we're gonna heat this all up. And get it nice and smooth. Yep. And once it's nice and warm, then we're gonna go ahead and add the vanilla to it. Mm -hmm. Get this nice and nice and hot. Get all these flavors to melt together. And we'll be adding that to our oats before we add the pecans and the almonds and the wheat germ and making a delicious nutritional snack for her okay 
Well, that mixture is nice and smooth, so we're going to go ahead and add our vanilla. And now we just patiently wait for our oats to finish cooking. Okay, and we're back. As you can see, our oats have toasted up nicely. The pan's cool enough that I can actually handle them now. And we're going to put these in our bowl. Like so. And we're going to go ahead. Go ahead and put the pecans in there. Good. Give that a little shake. Get them mixed up a little bit. Go ahead and add the almonds. Good job. Mix these all up nicely. And the Cocoa Krispies. Well, those are the regular Krispies, but that's fine. Bring those in. Perfect. And the wheat germs. Awesome. And the Cocoa Krispies. Got it. Awesome. Starting to look like a breakfast treat already, huh? Yeah. What else we got to put in there? Um, Another pan of oats. <laughs> well, we're going to add the sugar base in a minute. Okay. What's sugar base anyway? Well, that's the, the molasses and honey and everything else that we have cooking on the stove. Good. That's right. Well, let's oh, mix yeah. these up. Real good. Need some help, Dad? No, I got this okay. I'm good at stowing. Yeah. But I'll let you do it this time. Okay. Well, I appreciate it. I know. Since we got kind of a big bowl. Yeah. Actually a small bowl with a lot of ingredients. All right, now, let's see if I can't add the sugar base to it. Yeah. Pour that in there. I Make a nice, gooey yeah. mess. That's what I was just going to say. Yeah. I love you, Daddy. I love you too, baby. This is going to be so good. Mommy. You know, I might eat some of these myself. Yeah, I will share with you. You will? Uh-huh. You know, you're all right. I don't care what they say. I'm I think you're pretty special. Thanks, Daddy. So now, let's see if we can't get this all incorporated together. Mm hmm I think I should have just skipped the glass bowl for this and just used one of the our big stainless steel bowls. It would have been a lot easier to mix. Yep. Okay. I've already lined that cookie sheet with aluminum foil. Mm -hmm. And it's coated with butter. Right. Why don't you step down for one second? Bring this pan over here. And oh yeah. Nice and sticky and gooey. Yeah. As you can see, it looks like it's gonna make a nice level tray. Now we're going to press these down firmly into the cookie sheet. Let's see if we can't roll this out a little bit. Got a girl.
Those are looking pretty good. Yeah, go right along that edge. Perfect. Right here. See if you can't roll that down a little bit. Yeah, let's see if I can't help you. That's looking awesome. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. See if you can't. Okay, now we're going to put this in the oven for at 325. And we're going to toast it up a little bit more. It's going to be really awesome. I mean, this is really coming out um, to the point that I'm, uh, I might start liking granola. So, okay. Now, to the oven again. Okay? Okay. We'll be back. Okay. Well, they're out of the oven, and now they got to cool, but I'll tell you what, these things smell incredible. Yeah, they do. Okay. You can smell the oats, you can smell the, the, the nuts, the honey. They really, truly do smell good. We're going to let these cool off, and then we'll peel back this foil, and we'll cut them into nice big strips. They've pretty much cooled off our granola bars, clean off the counter a little bit, and uh, nice I like that, huh? Yeah. You need to teach me how to do that. I promise you I will. Now, let's see what we can do here. I can help. I don't like the marshmallows. Yeah, well, this is a little bit different than the marshmallows, this one. That one's mine. Ha <laughs> ha! And this one's mine. And I'm gonna cut you a piece and let you try it. I can do that. Be the official taste tester? Mm -mm, yeah. And that taste tester will be me. Yeah, I'm gonna cut you a small one because it's getting a little late and I don't want you to have too much. Natural sugars before you go to bed. Yeah. So with that, you can try it as I keep on cutting. Okay. Mmm. Good. Yeah, they came out amazing. What? Didn't understand a word you were saying. You got a mouth full. They turn out out amazing. Well, that's awesome. So you heard it from the from the connoisseur herself. They came out amazing. So, with that, thank you for joining us with Cooking with the Count. I hope you enjoy this recipe. Please like us on YouTube. Share it with your family and friends. And give us a big thumbs up. Big thumbs up on YouTube. Help us on Facebook. You can look us up, Cooking, up, cooking with the Count. Of course, you can find the recipe as well as the video on our website at www.cookingwithaccount.com. Good night. God bless. Thank you for joining us.